Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie, and former co-editor of Pop Sided Magazine, and welcome to a brand new episode of But Is It Power Pop? On this episode of But Is It Power Pop, I'm going to take a walk through some of my favorites from basically when I was first discovering Power Pop, and... I'm not really going to be defining what Power Pop is. I'm going to be showing you a bunch of Power Pop and Power Pop adjacent albums on CD that you really need to look for. Consider this your, maybe if you're wanting to get into Power Pop, consider this maybe a Power Pop starter pack. Now, I'm not saying that these are the absolute best albums in the world, but they are. They are definitely ones that you should have in your collection if you are really itching to get into the whole Power Pop movement. These are all in random order. I just grabbed a bunch of CDs off the shelf, put them in a stack, and I'm going to start with what I consider one of the two best Power Pop albums of all time. Uh, this one and one I'm going to talk about a little later, they sort of, depending on which day it is, they alternate to, uh, as in number one and number two. But today it's going to be number one in this episode, but... At the end of the episode, it might be number two on my list. It just, it's always changing. Anyway, we're going to start with the debut album from The Beat. This is Paul Collins and his friends. 1979, this is one of the greatest guitar power pop albums of all time. This is definitely power pop. Uh, and everybody should have a copy of that in their collection. Ooh, this next one I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit because it didn't come out until last year, but it was recorded in 1980. Now, everybody knows of my undying love for the last LA explosion. Is it power pop? No. Is it great pop? Yes. But, but at the end of 2020, they released Look Again, which was recorded in 1980. This should be on the top of everybody's favorite power pop adjacent lists it is so amazing so incredible this is superb in every way and it belongs on your list right now now remember i didn't pull everything for this episode because i want to continue doing this so i left some things off so if you go hey he didn't feature that band that's because it'll probably be in another episode anyway we'll go to the next one this is the lambrettas beat boys in the jet age is it power pop no, it's not power pop. It's great guitar pop. They're more known as being a mod band, but if you hear this, it's just absolutely incredible. Now, this is the two CD expanded edition, which features both of their albums and all their A sides and B sides and everything. So you really need to get that. Lambretta's Beat Boys in the Jet Age. This is an absolute treasure. Uh, everything here is a treasure, but if you haven't heard this, definitely check it out. Now, I kept on thinking to myself, do I want to pick the first Ruben Ooze CD or the second Ruben Ooze CD? And then I thought, well, gosh darn it, why not pick the LP collection? This is a CD that combines the first two albums plus bonus tracks and the Basement Tapes collection plus bonus tracks. All three of these in one set. Are the Ruben Ooze Power Pop? Oh my gosh. They're the most beautiful, wonderful Power Pop. It's it's sugary sweet. It's It's... The Archies meets the Raspberries meets the Beatles. It's just everything that you want it to be uh, and so much more. The Rubenus, one of the finest. Now, of course, this next one is not Power Pop, but a lot of Power Pop fans love it. So it is Power Pop adjacent. It is Squeeze, RG Bargy. What a classic album. You know, you got Pulling Muscles from a Shell and Another Nail in My Heart. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Now, this is not necessarily my favorite Squeeze album. I think it might be the most immediate. My favorite Squeeze album is also a great collection of pop tunes, guitar pop tunes. And that's East Side Story. Up next on my list is Corey Feldman. How did that get in there? Uh, anyway, oh my gosh. Okay. Remember how it feels to wake up on Christmas morning? You're all excited to get presents from Santa Claus or your birthday or whatever. Well, that's what it feels like every time I open this Yachts box set. Yachts, one of my favorite bands of all time. And the only reason I think that people don't refer to them as a power pop band is because they've never heard Yachts. I, well, actually, to be honest, I don't think the guys in Yachts would call themselves a power pop band. But you know what? If you are a power pop lover, this contains everything that the band released on Radar and Stiff and Demon. So it has both their albums and all their non-album A and B sides. And seriously, it is it is like just gifts. Every time you open it, it's like, wow, gifts musical gifts this thing is it just keeps giving even though i've heard every one of these tracks three four five hundred times when i listen to them it's just it just gives me chills these i consider these guys right up there with all the great power pop bands uh and guitar pop bands and you really need to check this out because it, it, it's life affirming uh well here's one this is a standard one i thought i'd throw this in there you know get the knack 
It's probably one of the most famous power pop albums of all time. And, of course, My Sharona is one of the most famous, quote-unquote, power pop songs of all time. I don't think that's a great power pop song. I think Good Girls Don't is a better power pop song. But you know what? The Knack were an amazing band. So you cannot fault them. This is a version that has a few extra bonus tracks on it. But The Knack, of course, a lot of you already know that. And you probably already have that in your collection. Now, here's one you're going to go, hey, Shanine, what the hell are you talking about? This, I think, is one of the greatest power pop albums. Yes, this is essentially a prototype for power pop. If you go back and look at it, it has everything that you love in power pop albums uh, and so much more. So if you've got this and nothing else here, you've got the beginnings of your power pop and power pop adjacent starter pack. Okay, maybe it's more power pop adjacent, but uh, the, it definitely does belong in my list. This is one of the albums that saved my life when I was 16 year old, heartbroken, and it's full of just amazing, wonderful, well-crafted uh, songs and uh, the harmonies and they layer them kind of like 10 cc almost and the melodies it's it's just a, an astonishing great record now if you want to go ahead and go out and find it on vinyl all right go ahead but you can get this it's the whole album plus all the original demos of the album you can get that in this box set called Electrified, this features all of their Electra albums, uh, plus bonus material, and it's absolutely astonishing. But why stop there? You might as well get the black vinyl box. The album Black Vinyl Shoes is, uh, it's, it's just, it's haunting great power pop. Now here's another one you're going to question me, but listen to it. Go back and listen to it today, right after this episode. The Ruddles, great power pop album. Swear to God, this is the CD uh, reissue. It doesn't have the original cover, but it does have all that great, wonderful music on it. It's just beautiful. And yes, I do consider this power pop. It came out about the same time. Sure, it was, you know, a, an homage to the Beatles, but Neil Innes nailed power pop and the Beatles in one fell swoop. Now, remember at the beginning, I told you about how uh, the Beat album and there was another album that would alternate between one and two as my favorite power pop albums of all time. This CD here features the first 2020 album, and that is stunning so it's this or the first beat album that alternates between being the greatest power pop album of all time in my book but you know what you get the second 2020 album on the cd and that's an extra added bonus of goodness oh my god to quote the osmonds that's double loving and no real power pop collection is complete without the first Bram Tchaikovsky album, but you know what? You might as well get the second, third Bram Tchaikovsky albums because they are all included in this box set. This is so jam-packed, full of great melodic rock and roll power pop. You know, a lot of people call Bram Tchaikovsky a um, power pop band. I don't. I sort of consider them power pop adjacent because they are more rock and roll than they are power pop, but they are doing it right because their rock and roll is very melodic. So you want to get this. And then you know what? You might as well get the Motors box set as well. Well, so and then finally in this episode an album that is so wonderfully supremely great power pop but it's also garagey as well it's tough it's rough and it's pretty darn great and that is the romantics self-titled debut of course this is the album with what i like about you when i look in your eyes tell it to carry absolutely stellar album the debut album from the romantics fabulous fantastic and wonderful and that is it for this episode of but is it power pop i hope that you discovered something here or i hope i reminded you to maybe go out and pull out an album uh and give it a listen uh go online go to your local store do whatever you can start building your power pop starter pack and that's it remember to like comment share subscribe and to ring that bell for future notifications and until the next time remember me i'm steve schnee the cd junkie